Yeah, this just happened, son. Dylan Dennis, Logan Paul press conference. We just watched it. It was insane. KSI and Tommy Fury are fighting too. And you want to know how I know that? Because one of the Furies absolutely lost their mind. If I say Okay, so we're going to go through the clips from this thing and I'm going to tell you all about what happened. And here's the deal, dude. Logan Paul in person, that is a different animal, Logan Paul uh, on Twitter. And Dylan Danis in person, very different animal than Dylan Danis on Twitter. Because in person, it is a mismatch of absolutely biblical performance. I mean, is it biblical what? Biblical What? Biblical proportions. Good job. I'm going to give you a quick example, right? Just a preview of what's coming, right? Because Logan Paul is coming out. He's being introduced. And we all know that Dylan Dennis has a fully loaded M16 aimed right at his noodle. He has all the material in the world on Nina. And Logan just steamrolls over him, dude. Just completely steamrolls him. He comes out completely ready for that. He's got props. And as Dylan starts dropping some of his best stuff, which he should have saved for later, Logan just walks right over him. And we're going to watch that right now because this is a huge mismatch in person. Let's watch. Oh, I got props. I see Dylan got props. Hey, bro, that's creative. You come like up with that, that one, yourself? Right? Huh? Was that, was, that what, was that the surprise that you told me about? No, I got more. Don't worry. Oh, that's good, bro. Why are you wearing sunglasses? You oh, you're mad creative, back? bro. You gotta hide those look tears back? Look at you. Look at you. You're in your full glory. Yeah, Dylan okay. Hiding those okay. tears because of Nina, hey, huh? we got the real fighter. Oh, here we go. Hiding those tears because of Nina. Come on, dude. Hiding those tears. This guy is a WWE wrestler. You better be better prepared for that than that, dude. You hiding those tears because of Nina? Steamrolled. Oh. In the house. <laughs> yeah, Dylan Dan is the real fighter who got choked out by a bouncer in a club. Your girl got hey, 75 hey, guys before he married her. Shut the uh, Apologies. Apologies where's for the Nina? language. Ooh, I Yo, where's Nina? Personal security. Yo, where's your fiance? I found the bouncer. Where's your that fiance? Took Dylan Dan is out. I flew him to London and Chance is here in case you try any sick old shit, you dirty dog. Okay, so you see that? You see that? First of all, okay, first of all, what is the key to winning these exchanges? You can't let them look like, you can't look like they made you mad. Okay, so this is literally, this is the first exchange that they had. This is the very, I knew immediately, I was like, this is gonna be a bloodbath for Dylan. Because A, he made it, like as soon as, as, soon as Logan brought up the, the bouncer, you could tell it pissed Dylan off. Number two, Dylan brought up Nina right out of the gate right right out of the gate and not with anything clever it's like you could tell he's nervous dude he has one he has one weapon and he's already using it too fast okay logan is ready logan knows all he has to do is not look angry no matter what dylan does right and he just steamrolls right through it just steamrolls right through it and the other thing is like Dude, that, that Nina and the 75 guys thing, it's like, okay, the correct way to play that, the correct way to play that, where he says, hey, man, he's like, hey, man, you know, I, I brought the guy, you know, the security guard that, that choked you out. I brought him. He's on my security team. He's here, dude. He's here. And then everyone goes, woo, you wait. And then Dylan says, hey, have you double checked that he hasn't fucked Nina also? Boom. Okay, wait so that everyone can hear you project your voice and then hit him with something clever that is in response to what he said now dylan or Lil logan probably would have like steamrolled that also but don't you know make it make it more obvious that he's ignoring it he just let logan just talk right over him and that's exactly what this entire thing is like as you will find out so you remember now after watching this that logan paul is a wwe wrestler dude also KSI and Tommy Fury are fighting. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you guys some clips. So let's just, uh, you know, let's jump right into this thing. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you doing? Okay, I need you to subscribe because if you don't, then I don't know if I'm doing a good job. No, but really, you know, subscribe to the channel, dude. Do your boy a favor and uh, let's jump right into this. Okay, so I wanted to start here really quick because this is one of the moments like basically, but you know, okay, so just as a preface, Logan Paul and his team clearly came into this thing with a plan, okay? Like, they came in with a plan. And that was to overwhelm Dylan Dennis with preset things, right? Like, things that they knew were going to take a lot of attention. There were going to be big visuals. Logan wasn't going to let him talk. He was going to overwhelm him with, with his uh, stage prowess. And he had a bunch of props, all right? 
So he's got a birthday cake that's, uh, and I'll show you that in a second. And then you also had this picture of uh, Dylan getting strangled by the bouncer. It was very well executed. And then there was a huge curveball at the end of this thing where someone lost their mind and ended the press conference after about 10 minutes of total press conference time. And I'm going to show that to you. And then I'm going to tell you why that happened because I, it's planned, dude. Planned by Logan's team who was in the middle of a PR nightmare and they solved it essentially. Well, I don't know about solved it, but certainly took the air out of it. Like Dylan better hope he has a lot more pictures of, of Nina if he wants to kind of like get that ball rolling again. I mean, no, I mean, that's a pretty, that's, that's actually, but he should definitely get that ball rolling. That's how he's winning. All right, so let's watch this, uh, this first clip. Here's, uh, here's Logan Paul showing this, uh, this Dylan Dennis uh, cake that they brought out. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dear. No. You fucking little pussy ass bitch who doesn't show up to any fights ever. I got a cake of you getting knocked out with a camel toe. Happy birthday to you, you fucking pussy. What? Guys, guys, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't like I don't know what happened right there, like because the camera wasn't on them. But it doesn't look like Dylan started that. But you can see here, you got to look at, like, just look at how it's set up because this is going to be relevant. You, you very much have the Furies over here. Dylan on the, you have Dylan on the way end. You have Logan on the way end. But uh, let's continue. Well, y'all do that. Can we get a zoom in on the cake? Dylan, you see it? You didn't step up, Logan. Why'd your boyfriend step up for you, huh? Check it out, Dylan. There's you. Camel toe and all. Guys, 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 let's sit down. Let's what are you sit do down about it, kids? Right, come here and do something about it then. It's, I, I just love all this because, uh, honest to God, for real, normally when you have an MMA fighter against a guy who's boxing, right? Like normally, it's just something that I need to get out there. As a matter of fact, let me just do this real quick. This is an important point that I might make the teaser to this particular video. This is an important point to make. Normally, when you have a, an influencer boxer against an MMA fighter, in the back of your mind, you're always like, or not even in the back, the front of your mind, you're always like, I mean, but you know if you guys really fought, like the MMA fighter is going to destroy you, right? Like we all, we all know this, right? Like we all know this, that if you really fight, MMA guy, especially jujitsu in this case, is going to shatter your limbs. Normally. In all seriousness, I don't know if Dylan Dennis wins that fight, dude. I really don't. After watching what, what Logan Paul is doing in WWE, the, the how athletic he is, how fast he looks, the fact that we know he can wrestle, and the fact that now he can punch people in the face, I don't know if Dylan wins that fight. I really don't, dude. I think there, I think that that's a toss-up fight in MMA. I really genuinely do. So that's notable. When it comes to Logan Paul's ability to be confident and it be real on the microphone, at least for me, dude, like anytime somebody's screaming at each other on the microphone, I'm always going like, all right, you know, what if no one's there? You know, how about if no one's there? How about if it's just the two of you in a room, there's no crowd, there's no, are you going to say that? And what's going to happen if you do? And in this case, we don't know. We don't know. But these big visuals like this was a really good plan, dude. You know, put your glasses back on. Earlier also, uh, they said, uh, like KSI said something about Jake Paul because Tommy Fury's like, yeah, I'm going to finish you like, I, you know, I'm going to put you out like I did Jake Paul. And he's all, I'm not Jake Paul, bro. And Dylan's all, hey, Logan, why don't you defend your brother, dude? Hey, hey, Logan, why don't you defend your brother? That was a good, that was a good take. But bottom line, dude, Dylan has, okay, like I said yesterday, Dylan is the goat on Twitter, period, of trolling. But in person, he doesn't have it, dude. It's no offense to him, dude. I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm calling him the goat on Twitter, but I'm saying bottom line, dude, those are two different skill sets, son. Okay. He doesn't have this, you know, he doesn't have the, the thing that I do. The thing that Logan does, the things that these, like where you just talk into a microphone and you just like, and you kind of know you're on, like, he doesn't have that. Like he's like a, you know, he's scary as hell on Twitter though, dude, don't get me wrong, but on the microphone and events like this is no good for him, dude. No good. He's up against, he's up against. A, a an absolutely elite opponent in a in a situation like this. Tom. Logan, Logan, is this like an edible cake? Watch, you're gonna start throwing things. This is, a, this is an edible cake. 
We will be cutting it up and passing it around to anyone who wants just to like still his girl, just like his fiance. <laughs> Everybody can get in the crowd. Just, Yo, you know, you've been so slow. <laughs> Do you hear that? He's all, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is what I'm saying. He says, he's all, we're going to cut it up. We're going to give it to everyone in the crowd. And, and, uh, and Dylan goes, yeah, just like his fiance. Anyone can get it. That's a great line. That's a great line. Now, why didn't that land? You understand what, like, if, if that would have been me in that situation, or if that would have been Logan on the other side of that, or Connor, and you, I mean, listen, actually, yeah, I am. I'm putting myself right next to those guys, because I know for 100% sure I deliver that line, it lands, dude. That line lands. I'd be like, oh, you mean like your fiance? Everybody gets a piece. Okay, like, that's going to land. Dylan doesn't have, like, so Dylan's like, oh, you mean like your fiance? And no one even reacts, dude. Speak up, Dylan. Speak up, son. Yell. You know what I mean? Practice in the mirror. Go or, or Chandler or Chael. Any guy like that. Like just project your voice, dude. Because that was a great line. That's why on Twitter it would have landed. And here it does not. Until 9 a.m. in the morning. I rejected your ass to go hook up with real athletes. You don't got to take that shit out on me because my brother hooked up with your ex. All right, yeah, so Logan's like, oh, so your ex uh, rejected you to come hook up with my brother. I mean, is it, a, is, it, is it a huge shock to anyone that the girl that Dylan Dennis was together with is a whore? You know what I mean? Does anybody find that shocking? Right? I don't. I don't. And I bet you Dylan, actually, I don't even know. Can you guys even picture Dylan being hurt? Like, if he found that out, he's like, oh, damn, she did. I can't even picture him caring. At least I got rid of this slut. You're marrying one. <laughs> Dylan, Boom. Dylan, Dylan, run your mouth all you want. 75 you know, bodies you've been you with, buddy. That's well, what I got You more. ain't ever been with any girl as beautiful as my girl. Yeah, okay. My lovely Every fiance, single guy my York sweetheart who I love so much. My superstar whose apartment costs more than your entire net yeah, worth. Yeah, because Leonardo DiCaprio paid for it. Bro, what are you talking about? Bitch. Bro, bro, bro. You what? resorted to attacking a woman as your fight tactic? No wonder you're friends with I Conor McGregor. Yeah. No He's not attacking a woman. He's attacking you. Okay. He's attacking you, but nonetheless, like I said, dude, Logan, Logan won this. This is the best, this right here, this was the best sequence for Dylan by a mile. So you're looking at the best that Dylan had in this entire thing right here. What are you friends with Conor McGregor? Where is he, by the way? Where's Coach McGregor? And why won't he take my bet? Why won't he take my million dollar bet? Dude, oh, great line here. Pay back to people from CryptoZoo. I'm working on it, Dylan. You scammed your audience. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Come on, dude. You're worth a billion dollars, dude. Either pay him back or don't. But don't pretend like you're working. You know what I mean? Like, I have mixed feelings on the crypto zoo thing. I, you know, if I, if it was me, if it was me and I was in, I was in Logan Paul's situation, for sure, I would just pay him back just to like, the idea of, of, of people that, that are my fans having gotten into something that didn't work out, even if it was some other guy who stole all the money, I have what I would consider to be borderline a character flaw about people being mad at me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, especially if people like trusted me, like I would just be like, whatever. How much? Six million. Six fucking million? Six million. Can we write it off? Yeah, of course we can write it off. Fuck it, do it, dude. Just figure it out. Pay him back. All right. That's what I would do, personally. But nonetheless. Uh... It's 20 yeah, times. Yo ass got shit. checked by community notes. Dylan Dennis has scammed his audience on several occasions. Then why did you answer that? Why did you respond? Each. Why did you respond? You do anything for a couple thousand dollars, huh? Yeah. Like mother, like son, I guess. Yeah, same thing with your girl, buddy. Don't worry. Don't get me started on Nikki, bro. Yeah, don't let me get started about your dad that used don't to beat you and Jake. Oh. So, this is where things go off the rails, okay? Just FYI, this is where things go off the rails. Not for these two, but for someone else who does not like people talking about families, all right? So, let's continue because this is where it gets nuts. Shut the fuck up. Oh, it's crazy how you see Jake's you are you see, a women's past considering you, your mother's you, an actual you, prostitute. Yeah, go on there. Just like your dad beat your fucking kid. Come on, bro. Your dad didn't beat you? Yo, you know... First of all, just watch John Fury throughout this because John Fury does not like this even a little bit. So in case there's any confusion here, uh, Dylan is talking about uh, Jake and Logan's dad beating the shit out of them when they're kids. And uh, 
Logan is saying that Dylan Dennis' mom is an actual prostitute. I have no idea if any of this is true, but uh, what I can tell you is that John Fury, very, very much not down with this at all. You know about you Nikki watch, in the hot you tub? Watch, Jake's you know about Nikki and Tony in the hot tub? What? Oh, you don't know. Look at John. He's like, oh, I can't take it, dude. Okay, oh, yeah, good no, one. No, no, good no, one. No. He can't take okay, it, dude. Look so at him. Look, look, don't don't make me release the picture and then you see what happens. Oh. By the way, I have a very strong theory about what the picture is. I'm going to do a separate video on it, though. I can't just let that one go in this video. Tony, I don't want to go there, Nikki. I don't want to go the there. The Fury's best fights in the world. <laughs> yeah! That's all he could take. Now watch this. He's had enough, dude. We're the men of the house. <laughs> We're the only men of this island. The Fury's drop them in. You know about me? Yeah, so that what, why is, why is, So I, okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Originally, like literally, when I started this video, the first time I watched this, well, afterwards, I decided that this was this this was staged. This next thing, I, I was like, this is staged. Having watched this a second time, I take it back, dude. And I, I'll tell you what gave it away is, is, is Tommy Fury's reaction to his dad standing up and flipping out. Because if this was planned, Tommy would have known it was coming. And that, he went like this, like, oh, he's embarrassed. Which means he didn't know it was coming. Which means this is real. Why is Tyson Fury talking to us? Yeah, why is Tyson Fury talking to us? Why is he? Why is Tyson Fury talking to us? Why is he fighting God? Talking all this bullshit. Thank you. About fucking people's personal bullets. Nah, Tom. We're fighting men. Done. My son, I'll Done. fight him now, and I'll fight anyone in the building. No. Let's get a fucking ball rolling. Get the cake and shove it up your asshole before I do it. John, John, All thank you, John. All these fucking little kids. I'm a machine. <laughs> Me. And can anybody question who I am here? If I take it, come on. Come on, get it done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I take it back. I think it was planned now. I take it back. And then people start throwing shit. And then watch this. <laughs> Dylan was going to throw a chair. But Logan's like, oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, that was kind of putrid right there. Hang on. Let me just go back to that really quick where they show Logan slap KSI. He's like, hey, man, you think this is going well? Or he's like, yeah, we killed it, dude. Watch this in a second. And he's like, we did it, dude. This is killer. Watch right here. I'm pretty sure Logan throws a piece of cake right now. I could have swore he threw cake right now. Someone, someone just threw Dylan's foot into a Oh, yeah, yeah, see here. How did here. he get the feet? How did he's gonna, he's gonna grab the head and then he's gonna throw the head. That was entertaining. Lo dude, let me just say this. Before you look at this throw, okay? Before you look at this throw, don't assume because people know how to fight that that means they know how to throw. You know, I've learned, like, I played baseball growing up. So like, I just assumed everyone knew how to throw things well. And then as an adult, <laughs> when I would, when I would like end up interacting with people who were like, who were like athletes, but just never threw anything. And then like, you would see them throw. You're like, that's how you fucking throw, dude. What? The, you know what I mean? What the fuck? Here, throw, like, like, uh, at least. I don't even know. I don't know how many times. We're like, there, there's been someone in our crew at something who has thrown something. We're like, here, we'll like give him shit. We're like, throw this. Because you're just like, what the fuck? How do you not? That's, you throw like a fucking retard. What's wrong with you? Logan is not one of those people. Watch this. He's got a fucking cannon, dude. Uh oh, okay. Logan's got the head. What, what Watch you gonna do this, do with the head, dude. Logan? What are you going to do with the head, Logan? Logan. 
Now, he had to throw a little bit weird because he's holding something super big that's not solid. But he's got a cannon, dude. That's a good throw. And Dylan just threw something. I don't know. And now Dylan wants to get down. He wants to throw, dude. Okay, guys, that is it. That's a... All right. Uh, let me just see if anything has happened since then. I think there was like going to be face-offs or something. They probably canceled those, though, because that would have been totally insane if they actually did it. Did they do it? No. Oh, whoa. They did it with these two guys. I don't think they're going to do it with Logan and Dylan, dude. There's no way. Uh, anyway, so that's what that was. Now, let's discuss... Let's discuss. So, again, uh, that was that was eventful, dude. That was uh, that was eventful. Very interesting to uh, you know see John Fury and and Tommy's reaction to him, and you kind of just go, "Oh, all right." So I know what it's like in that household. If John starts yelling and flipping stuff, you just kind of go, "Oh man!" And as a grown up, you're like, "I am embarrassed, but I'm not gonna say a fucking thing to this guy." He's a gypsy, dude. He's a gypsy and a badass. I would love hanging out with him, dude. I really, I really wish I was friends with John Fury. And all of these. I do. The Furies are fucking badasses, man. But anyway, so Dylan Dennis needs to uh, potentially release that picture. And uh, man, see, here's the thing. When I do a video that's 20 minutes long, I know my analytics. Most people are not going to be watching this far. And so for those of you who have watched this far, I'm going to reward you. And I'm going to give a preview to a follow-up video that I'm going to do about what Dylan Danis' secret picture is of Nina Agdahl. I would say a thing like that is very open about like sex stuff, right? She say that publicly, then you wanna know what that means in terms of if you're dating her? It means that she's totally down for 